when I was in China, I would look at all the people coming through the prayer line. And one after another, one after another. I didn't see one of our students come. My heart was, uh, I was just bleeding. I said, where is our children? Where is our busy students? Where's Dan? Where's Josh? Where are they? But I, I don't know. Because they're, they're supposed to be the last one to come in. But in my heart, I'm yearning. I'm saying, where are they? I wanna... This is the great chance. They're coming through the prayer line that the question can be answered. The problem can be solved. They can, uh, they can pour themselves before. Where are they? I didn't see them. And I was still praying. I was still praying. You don't know how, what the battle that I went through. I think Brother Tom probably shared it with you. That, uh, and that after the end of the prayer line, I have to be, uh, they have to be packed me back to the, uh, to the room. I couldn't even walk. It was not because of just the prayer, just the mind battling. And then afterward, I saw Dan started coming. And all the others, Amy started coming. And Josh and different started coming. Oh, I said, oh, wonderful. I said, Lord, I believe you're going to do something special for them. Then I was thinking, where's my son? And I said, Lord, where's my son? Lord, I know you're a God. But Lord, I just want to know you care about me too. Then later on, I asked Brother Tom. And Brother Tom said, I said the same thing. Where's my granddaughter? And I was praying. I was praying for others. And in, another, in my mind, I was thinking, where's my son? Don't miss this chance. Where's my son? Don't miss this chance. And then afterward, I saw him coming up. And my heart was so joy. And he was coming over. Sorry, Abraham, to put you on the spot. And then he was coming up to the platform. He said to Brother Ron, he said to Brother Ron, I only want one thing. I want the Lord to totally consume me. Now that's all father and mother's desire. Amen. I don't need a big money. I don't need a big job or this and that. I just want to God totally consume all our children. All our young people. Let the Lord consume them. Consume them. No reserve. No nothing reserved back. Give your whole self to the Lord. And then afterward, and then to another city, and one of the meetings was going on. I was just praying, and I said, and after the whole uh, uh, the meetings was over, I just feel it in my heart. I said, I think I want to talk to my son. So, I just want some fellowship, if I can put it in that way. I miss him. So, I texted to the brother. I said, Brother Caleb, I said, I want to I have some fellowship with my son. Can I? And I texted him, and he texted me back. He said, you don't need to. He said, he's on his way to our room. He want to have a fellowship with you. Can God... Have this type of a fellowship with us. How we yearning. You are his son. And when he come. We're talking about the Lord. We talk about the meeting. We talk about how God has been working. How God has been doing this person's life. In that person's life. I have the best fellowship I ever had. Who said teenagers can only be rebellious? Parents. You can have the best fellowship you can ever to have wisdom. No matter what situation they're in. No matter what condition they're at. That's the best time you can ever have your children. Can God want to have, does God want to have a fellowship with us? 